and hello everyone and welcome to another episode on Ohana Hobby Workshop. You're joined by myself, Mango Smasher, and we're also joined by Voice of Regret. Hey hey. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad, just trying to cut down on the backlog, so... Uh, Stress. Good, good old <laughs> backlog. Yep. But on today's episode, we're going to be going through the Kings of War Boxes um for the new set ambush that is currently still on pre-order on the current date we are and that's the 21st of january um so we're going to be basically going through and we're going to create a tier system per se for like value for money also model counts etc um for like uh, model count money wise but also how much it's going to cost individually so on and so forth so what we'll do is we'll start off so obviously the first box we're going to look at is the um, Ratkin um, so if people haven't followed the stuff to do with ambush for Kings of War it is essentially the sort of starter way to get into um, Kings of War, so it's very similar to how Vanguard is played, but that will be covered in another one. Um, so Ambush is designed to have small little games, uh, just a really a few units to really get yourself into it. Um, so obviously the 16th of January, uh, is when everything starts shipping, so it's all in the shipping uh, process at the current minute. So, with the Ratkin, um, obviously you get a Warriors Regiment, um, so that's 20 models there, and 20... Yeah, so you've got 20 Spear Warriors, 20 Warriors, and a Night Terror. Um, so that there alone is... 41 models um, obviously um, we can bring the images up so first box then the the Rackian ones um, I'm assuming you do have it loaded up oh yeah it's all loaded up I've looked through it as well and I do I do like the models it's just I'm used to stuff like this being you get a two units, something cool, and then a hero with it, normally. Hmm. But each of these don't have that. Like, they have the something cool, and they have the units, but they don't have the hero or at least a leader figure. Yeah, and I think the reason they've done that is um, just strictly because it's... Obviously, where this is just getting people involved in, if you start throwing characters in and everything. It gets more complicated. It's not so much more complicated. The characters are pretty cheap anyway, so you can pick up, um, I think, a basic ranking character for like maybe 10, maybe 15. Um, we can actually have a look at that while we discuss it as well. Um, so, where are we ranking? So, we will have to go to the whole range for this. Um, so, yeah, uh, so like one of the Rat King characters is £12.50, another one's £12.50. Um, oh, still quite cheap. Yeah, there's two more that are £10 each. Um, yeah, so you've got an option of six that are £10 each and two that are £12.50. Obviously, you can go bigger because obviously you do have, um, the... Uh, Vim, uh, you have the Tangle character on like a display base, it's like 14, and obviously you've got your big demons. Um, but obviously, if you're just starting, you're got, not going to really want to be... Nothing too big, nothing too complicated. Yeah. Um, essentially. So obviously, we get a couple of regiments. So, for a new player, you're not most people don't tend to run PMCs either, um, a lot of the time. 
So it's one of those ones that's going to be now for a new now for a new player. And in all honesty, I I don't look into the um, whole Kings of War scene myself fully. What does the PMC stand for? So PMC is preferred model count. So there for we go. an example, um, we'll take the regiments as an example. Um, so each so depending on the size of the unit, whether it's troop, regiment, horde, legions, obviously depending on what army you take depends on what you get access to so for this case um you've got two regiments um normally they would be 20 dudes um but a pmc perfect model count allows you to put the um, minimum to still get the bonuses so for a 10 man so for a 10 man that's a troop you only have to put eight down on a base if you want a regiment, like the boxes uh, currently we're going to be going through, they are 15. So even if you put 15 models on, you're still getting a 20 man bonus. Um, so yeah. potentially, um, you could generate a lot if you do a PMC count. Yeah. Um, so obviously you've got two regiments to start off with. Um, you've also got the Night Tower. Um, that can be made from two different modes as well. Um, so the Night Terror kit also allows you to make the sci-fi one as well. Um, fun fact. Um, and then obviously with the PMC, you could do quite, you could potentially get two regiments with a troop and a night tower so you've already bolstered there quite a bit so you could do for example one regiment of each and then if you really wanted to um you could potentially then do a pmc on the troop so that would just be eight models and then you'll have your but what I'm here, so what you're saying is if you use PMC, you could technically double the amount of units you get. Yeah, so you could potentially, with the Rackin box, you could walk away with a unit of warriors, uh, a unit, two regiments, so one regiment of warriors, one regiment of spears. You'll have enough over to make a troop um, that you could then potentially make either warriors or spears, plus the Night Terror, and if you're smart if not so much smart enough but if you're up for a kit bash you could potentially get two heroes out of that box as well you could potentially somehow if you're good for green stuff you could potentially get like a lord um i'm not sure they think they are actually called lords they're called something so oh, for 35 pound and a little bit of messing around with extra little bits you can pretty much double its value yeah, so you could potentially, if you wanted to get real sort of um, fancy, you could potentially, if you done a bit of green stuff work, you could make a war chief out of it as well, uh, a basic war chief, and you could also get a warlock out of it. So, it, so what? At least what we're getting at is that this is not just a box that new new people can get straight into and dig into it but veterans of the hobby can go i can pick that up i can use all of this and i can make this a bit more fun and usable within yeah. my lists essentially yeah so so it's got re re well, not re not replayability but roughly along those lines yeah no, it has a lot re -used. of replay, yeah it's like replay but reused um like for an example, you could even make if you if you can do it smart enough, you could potentially make even the scurrier instead of a like. So you've got a few different options. You've got like a war chief you could make. You can make the warlock. You could do the scurrier, um, and um, yeah, you could technically. If you really wanted to go even further, you could make a swarm crawler, uh, swarm crier as well, out of that box. 
So you've got a potential to make four characters, two regiments, a troop. Well, two characters, but you have an option of four with two regiments, a troop, and a uh, sort of like a monster out of that one box. Um, so obviously, the ones that are on screen now, um, I know you can't see them, regret. Um, but it's just their third picture with the wrecking box um, with the flail and swords. Um, they're just your box standard warriors. And then obviously, you have your spear dudes as well. And then you have your night terror on top um one thing that i would probably if you were feeling up to it if you really wanted to even take it further um you could magnetize the whole set as well um magnetize so, it and yeah. have interchangeable weapons so it's not just uh, you're not restricted it, yeah so, yeah so you're basically not restricted so potentially you could have two regiments and a troop of either spears or warriors um, and then you could potentially magnetize the arms for the four possible characters as well so you can go pretty crazy um, per se um, potentially um, so obviously like for 35 pound that's a lot of value you're getting um, if you're willing to also put some extra work into it so obviously it's at a discount price um so if we then look at what the retail value of that would be um so with the uh warriors they are 20 25 pound a box for a regiment so you're already looking at 50 pound there and then just it's... by looking at that 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 puts into perspective of hmm. You're paying for one and a half units of rats and everything else is free on top. Um, potentially how it works out is you are actually getting... You're actually only paying for a regiment and you get the Night Terror for £2.50 cheaper and then the 25 on top for the um, Warriors. So that alone... That's a worth. That's a worthy buy if you're if you ever need more more if 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 you're starting out or if you're a continuing veteran and just needing to flesh out your armies. Yeah. So if we look at savings, you're saving twenty two pound and fifty two pence. Um, obviously, this is all going to be done in British money, just so people know. So already, you're saving that. If we then take the possibility of characters um the characters that i named were all 10 pound each um so that's 40 pound there we'll say um so if we add that extra little bit of work you're looking at you're saving 60 um 67 uh, pound and 52 pence like that is probably one of the higher. I think this is the highest end of discount that you're getting. Possibly, yeah. Like obviously, you could argue well. You've got to buy green stuff and stuff like that. And green stuff's what about a tenner nowadays yeah, for us over the side. But even it, then, you're looking at fifty quid. Yeah. If we say it, the 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 green stuff. Yeah. And if you and if you're already playing this army, you're going to have parts lying about. Um, if we say just take the money out for the green stuff, you're looking at still a potential fifty-seven pound fifty-two savings. It, it it this is probably one of the I believe this might be the best one so mm. far. But again, this is the first one. Yeah. So but I, I, just by looking through it, mm. I don't think much is going to top it. Yeah, so if we, so your your basic savings without extra work is twenty seven fifty two, uh, and then obviously sixty seven fifty two with the extra work. Um, but even then, um, even if you like take out magnets, and even the green stuff, you're probably still looking at um let's take 
I don't know, let's take £20 out. Um, you're still looking at a £47.52. So it just depends how much work you want to put into it, really. If you're willing to magnetise it um, and get some green stuff and potentially make an additional four characters out of the box, you're saving 47 52 If you don't want a green stuff or magnetise, um, you're actually looking at a £67.52. Uh, so you can see like the savings just straight alone there. Um, you're looking at either 27 um, because what we can do is, yeah, so it's like £27 or £67 or £47. 27 basic, l put a bit of extra work in 47 If you want maximum value, like maximum value would be like the 47 52 um, But if you just want to build it as it is, then you're looking at 67 um, So what So what we're saying is it's a great day to be a Ratkin player. <laughs> yeah. Like, and even if we, like, for example, took out the cost of the green stuff and magnets, because probably, you pro people probably have those lying about, I know I do. Um, if you wanted to get even more of a fancier one, um, you could potentially, um, so one of the boosters for Ratkin has a Ratkin riding a Morpup. If you really wanted to, you could make a custom character, um with a Ratkin model riding the Night Terror. Now, um, that actually sounds really cool. Yeah, <laughs> it, it all depends. Like, it's basically basic savings, £27, we'll just say. Uh, if you want the maximum savings, 67 If you put in a bit of extra work, 47 So, I would say, like for value for money obviously that's pretty good because you're already saving the 27 flax at 60 250 straight for 35 quid you can't go wrong um so this so, is just saving money yeah you're saving money rather than going crazy so the the next set we're going to be looking at is the empires of dust um so obviously skeletons and stuff um so you first look at the box, you get an archer, uh, you get troops, are these, are these troops? Yeah, they're troops. So obviously this time you don't get regiments, um, but obviously there are some catches in this one. So you get uh, one unit of archers for troop, and you get a troop of warriors, and then you get two cavalry troops. Um, so obviously the model count for this one is going to only be 20. Um, so first looking at the box, um, what do you think? I'm looking at that and I, I immediately look straight to the back piece and go, right, what the box looks like I'm getting is it looks like I'm getting 10 archers, 10 spear and 10 cavalry. Now... From looking at all the other boxes, that's uh, it's not more units, but it's no. more, it's more, it looks more. Yeah, it, it looks more. From like, if you were to compare that to the Rat King, Rat King, you get three units. In this here, gets four units. You get four units at 30 models, not 20, because apparently I can't math today. Um, because but, that looks like 30 models in yeah, it's rough. Yeah, it's very uh, models in gen generalized. Um, 30 so. models to come down to four units looks more than any other one, which is two units, something cool. Or two yeah. units, cav. Or one unit, two cav. Mo this is the one set that looks like you're getting more. Yeah, and I think that's like one of the things as well. So obviously, now we're going to see, look at how much it's going to set you back to buy it, like sort of all the individual sort of stuff. Um, so straight out the back, your cavalry will actually set you back 25 because they instead of in regiments. So it's 10 in a box. And same with your, your basic warriors. So separate, it's a £50. So obviously the saving 
is only £15 here. It's not it's not the best savings. Compared to, obviously, the Rats, rats it is a very... It's still You're still saving. Like, it's still a good saving, regardless. Like, £15, you could potentially use that for a character. Um, but at the same time, you do get more options. Um, so, this is where it's going to... As we've done with the Ratkin, we'll look at like extra value. Um, so, so more of the veteran side of it, more yeah. re reusability. Yeah. So we'll now look at the veteran aspect of it. So with the warriors, obviously there are three different types you can build. Um, obviously, I don't think you can use it. that from the sets. Um, so you can actually make warriors that are like. It, like the Egyptian scarab swords, we'll call them shields, or you can do them as spears and shields, or bows. Um, so you've got a potential 60, uh, not six, uh, you've got like potentially regiments. So if we, uh, obviously PMC as well, if we take that into account. So you would have two types of, so two times troops. Um, and then on top of that, that would give you four skeleton spare. So let's put some on my notepad, four spare. So straight out the back, okay, this is now where we're obviously going to go over to do with all the extra sort of givens. Um, so obviously if you magnetize, you can make all three. So just from the skeletons, what do you think of the playability? But just if you were just to take the skeletons for a minute, due to the fact they have obviously three different variants they can build. Um, it all comes down to the whole point of what you want to use. If hmm. you want to turn that into from a 10 man to a 20 man spear block or something, I, I have noticed in the, funnily enough, the few games I've played against um, the undead, the the archers really did not do much mm. um but then again i was playing halflings i saw i saw where my weaknesses were i dealt mm. with what was more problematic to begin with yeah so but um again undead's not the range army it ca it can't be it can't be a ranged army yeah. i've seen it where it's better to overwhelm your opponent with cavalry to allow the mm. your slower units to catch up well, and then make it into a nice big slug fest and obviously with people watch this um and go back over the games we have played i played eod i played them very very differently to i was playing let's chariot spam chariots Which again. and people struggle to deal with that because of all the extra rules and in general but i think if you're looking for um just bulk and stuff and obviously for new people as well like even for new people like it seems to be really sort of like good because obviously you're getting like not masses amounts of models but you're getting a decent amount we'll call it it's mass um, over it, it's mass over um quality yeah, you're getting a few more. So obviously, uh, we're going to go to the horses now. Um, so obviously, the horses again are twenty five a box, um, and you basically get a box in there. Um, so if we take um, obviously now PMC becomes very very different, depending on the unit. Obviously, depends on the PMC. Um, so these are cavalry. So you only have to put four on a base instead of five. So that potentially will give you, um, so that's two troops of your cav. And that then generates you two spare. Now, if you buy two boxes, that just gives you an extra unit in general. Like, yeah. if you're buying two boxes, then you get an extra uh, horse That's unit at, mm -hmm. well, both of them are troops. Yeah. So but still... you, you could potentially, if you were to buy two of these boxes, you could get one of each variant that that 
box makes for the warriors, uh, warriors, archers, or spears, plus three units of cavalry. Um, in general, it, in... it the possibility of getting multiple is even funnier when you have spares. And then the spare units round up to a nice number that fit into the PMC. Yeah. So, obviously, now we're going to look at the extra work. Um, so. The fun part that I leave you to deal with. <laughs> so, straight out the back, we could potentially take. So, we've got four spare skeletons. So, if you were, again, green stuff work. You could do this very, very easily. You could potentially make yourself a Revenant Champion. So you're already looking at one character. So that's very basic stuff. You just paint them up a bit different. You don't have to worry about it. But if you wanted to go more fruity, you could potentially turn them into a Standard Bearer. Um, so that will take two of our skeletons. So the Standard Bearer, the way you would do that, is take the spear and make a flag with a spear. That's simple. Put a little bit of iconography on top if you're able to. Um, so you're pretty much like that. Um, obviously, on the website, they don't have a lot of the characters. Um, I do have the book by the side of me, though, thankfully. Um, so I am flicking through the book as well. Um, we don't really get to see the prices of the heroes. But... Uh, the heroes are £10 each. Oh, that's at least so you've got an extra 20 pound there so that Technically, separate goes up to 70 separate so if you were trying to squeeze every little bit of value out of it each separate model that you're getting extra which is four skeletons and then four uh, two horses are each going to turn into their own hero, which would roughly cost around £10 each, meaning you're roughly getting an extra value of about 60 quid. Oh no, it gets better. There is more, more, we've got more coming. You oh, then God. turn your two spare horses into Revenant and Standard Bearers on horseback. So that will then boost it another 20, technically. So, so roughly to... value 80 no, we're at um, 90 if you were to buy it separately so far. Yeah. But it gets better. Oh, God. It does get better. So we've still got technically now two spare skeletons still left. If you were... If you were able to, there are two other units you could potentially make. Um, and they are online... They are the High Priests and the Anute Pharaoh. So that takes our value to 110 with extra work. So. So we're already outdoing the rats. Already outdoing the rats. So straight out the back. Savings, if you go maximum, you're actually saving 125 for maximum effort. If you're willing to put a bit of extra work in and make some green stuff banners. And bit. You're looking at like a couple hours extra work, not minutes. <laughs> yeah, so obviously with the extra work, it's obviously depending on how quick you are and all that sort of jazzy, jazzy stuff. Um, but obviously making flags, very, very simple stuff. Um, making cloaks is even more simpler if you know a method. Um, that I will cover in another video because it's a method I was taught and it makes they're not the best cloaks in the world but they get by um, hey, now yeah. that's one I'm interested in when I start doing my Tanith <laughs> um, so obviously you've got maximum effort maximum savings um, obviously if you have everything so you're already saving £15 base price so base is fifteen pounds saving. Your max is one hundred and twenty-five. But your mid tier, if you don't have green stuff and magnets, you're still looking at a hundred pound. Saving quite a bit of money. Yeah. 
So, Especially since in, uh, since the United Kingdom is going through a recession right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously you have that. Obviously, if you wanted to buy another box, you could potentially turn that into just a bulker sort of thing. But if you're looking at to playing it straight from the boxes, um, that this what this is going to be all about. It's just playing what your base value is and what can we increase it to. Um, then you could potentially take up to 125. Um, but I just realized you can make it even better. Really? How? Um, so there is a upgrade for the High Priest that allows you to put him on a horse. Oh, so God. that value actually goes up more. So your maximum value actually goes to 135 and your base, your mid-tier value will be 120. Jesus. And this is maybe a couple of extra hours work. Well, a couple yeah. for you might be a couple days for our viewpoint, yeah, depending. It, it depends. Obviously, it depends how you want to do it. If you want them, if you go in, for an example, diamond, platinum, tear sort of sculpting, you're looking at days. If you just want something really simple and basic, you can knock it out in a couple of hours. Um, if you don't want to use green stuff for a flag, another method, tea stained paper. I've also had I you also have the idea of I would take inspiration from uh one of the Warhammer ones, but stick take a skeleton, chop him in half and ram the spear through the um mm. ribcage if you could. Yeah. And that could also just something that looks unique, that looks dead ish yeah. or dead like. Doesn't have to be a flag. <laughs> I just Could figured. Be an icon. I just figured another saving you can do. Oh God! So this is if you're this is if you're willing to put a bit of extra work in. So if you work with blue stuff, um, if people don't know what blue stuff is, it's a method where you basically take a mold of the part, put it between two bits of blue stuff, and then you can recast it. So. Empire of Dust have a unit called Crossbow Troops. There is a way around this. And I have just realized it is a bit of extra work and it would be actually more time consuming than actually making capes and banners. What you do is you take the spears, you take the bows, you take a mold of each one. Right? Then once you've got the replicas, you combine them together. That then will give you a crossbow if you combine them. So you're actually saving, if you play it even more, that value actually goes to 155 and will still keep the mid-tier at 120 because obviously you've got to buy your blue stuff, you've got to get your melee part or green stuff or your combo um, and time. We'll say okay, 120. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Just a bit of time. This will only inco <laughs> inconvenience you for about an hour. Yeah. At tops. <laughs> um, but even then, even if you magnetize it, if you, you think about it, it may, it gives you, because, yes, fair enough, you can buy the crossbow troops. Like, there's... They look cool the way they are anyway. Let's be real. They're very nice. But if you wanted something a bit more custom that could be a way to go about it so obviously as people would have seen from the first one we done and now from this one we go through your generic stuff your baseline and then we go through like other ways where you could potentially boost your value um so obviously the maximum value you can get out of this box is 155 pound if you're willing to put any extra work would make the gist of at this point you're telling the viewers to get 3d printers <laughs> well it's like 35 pound boxes and exactly. if even if you have a 3d printer um you could 3d print the crossbows very very easily uh, but obviously if you don't want to go into that side you will always got your blue stuff um and obviously magnets and all that sort of jazz um, so, obviously on this box, there's a lot. From a base point of view, there's not a lot. Let's be real. It's it's not a lot. Savings. Um, 
but at the same time between this and the racking one we've just done there is more potential out of this box i feel it doesn't look it it looks this box looks like it has the most yeah but in every sense of the word, all it has is the most value out of it. Yeah, and I think the, slide... the rest, the rest of it's more. Uh, it you, to get more value out of this one, you've got to work harder. Yeah. Than most of the other ones, we're mm. probably going to have a yeah. look at. You you do and you don't. Um, like the only heart. Uh, funny enough, the only like. Like massive, the most time consuming work will be making the crossbows, making custom ones. That's the most that's the most hard work you'll have is making those crossbows. That's if people want to make the crossbows. Yeah, if you want to, but <laughs> even if you don't want to make the crossbows, you're still looking at 135. And all you do is make one skeleton a bit more fabricy, give them a cape. Stuff like that. Um, Pretty much just give him makeup and blush. <laughs> yeah, essentially it's very minor sort of things you can do to potentially give yourself six bonus characters. That's one of each character on foot and two on horseback. Well, three on horseback. Using just two horses and using a magnet. Um, but obviously as well, one thing I did forget to mention is each of these boxes do come with a starter book um instruction manuals and the mdf unit bases um as a point out so we now have the next box and the next box will be i need to load up their fraction page as well so the next box will be the ogres now i swear you had a bone to pick with this one i have a Fucking bone in half of this. <laughs> right. It's an okay box. I'm not going to say it's not an okay box, but it is. But. Here comes my pet hate. Here's um, the big butt. Yeah. Here's the bomb, everyone. Um, yes, Ogres are an expensive army to play. I'm not going to deny they're not. Um... <laughs> Because just so ogres, weirdly enough, are just heavy infantries, well, large infantry. And just to give people an idea of your um, sort of unit sizes, it is for three dudes 140 points. If you want 12 dudes, it is 350 points. Now, that is a ton for when you're looking at yeah. a standard, like, a mass big unit of 30 mm. for halflings is roughly about 180. Yeah. And, obviously, you get to warrior regiments and goblin spears. Yes, goblins are combined in the ogres. But, the only reason they've had to do that is because it is their only infantry unit. <laughs> And range infantry. And with how it obviously works, um, it's very difficult. Because you have to follow strict rules of army building. So, obviously you've got two boxes of warriors, well, a regiment of warriors, two troops, um, and then you also have just spitters. So your gobos. Um, so what we're going to do is now have a look if it wants to load up. Nope. Okay, so go. on the back of the box are it's uh, three with no shields, which is one with an axe, one with just bare fists, and one with a sword. The other one is just mainly your shields, swords, axes, maces, clubs, but they have shields. So you got both variants at least there for options. Pro uh, you could probably put into you could mix them and make it a bigger unit, but it all depends on what they give you. And then you have a twenty-man block of goblin archers. 
-hmm. Now, the Gobo Archers, this is the bone that I have to pick. I swear ogres were just meant to be pure ogres. No support, uh, no support, chaos stuff or anything. But this one, you kind of had to go into the support units. Yeah. And, and it had to be not just an... This is not an ogre uh, set. This is a general cha um, chaos set for this. So... Um, so this is where it's going to get interesting because the we, can't o we can't just take from the ogre line since we can have spare goblins and we can't just take from the goblins because they're ogres. So this is a generalized, like, how much could you get out of this? Yeah, so this one is more, we obviously have to do have to include the goblins. Sadly. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> um because i'll say they are yes they aren't a staple to an ogre army but they kind of are um so obviously surprise surprise this is another 50 pound separate box for a value of 15 pound for 26 models so from that what do you think of that just to start off with before we get into the technical now, I don't like how little there is, but that's kind of a given with ogre armies. I was thinking it'd be more uh, ogre based, hmm. and it's not. It, it's more of a they didn't. They could have tried to bring out something cheaper, like. Well, I can't even think of something that could be a less point values than the ogres, but. Yeah. It makes sense that they threw the goblins in as more of a they got it, it all I can all I look at that and I look at this and go straight immediately I think to Warhammer and it's the Ogrin Noblar scenario. Yeah. And that's all I can think of. That that that's literally all I look at. That's all I see. The o uh, Ogre Noblar scenario from Warhammer yeah um and that, like, that's the first thing i saw in it is like how why am i thinking warhammer uh, no, uh, a kings of war so this is also a fun fact um the ogres don't have troops <laughs> fun ogres so the main ogre stuff so, obviously, they're all classed as large infantry because they are on 50 mil square bases. <laughs> so, they're chunky boys. Um, obviously, um, this is where it becomes a bit more complex uh, right. with them. Because, obviously, you're still stuck at two regiments. You're stuck at three regiments, we'll say. Um, if we say, if we build it per how it shows on the box, you are at three, three regiments. Units. Just three regiments, three units. So, uh, if we take it compared to the other two, lowest model count, obviously, base savings, still not the best. At the minute, Rat King are top for savings. But, obviously, with the extra work, your EOD becomes such a bigger saving where you could potentially save 155 if you put the work in so obviously now we are going to go into the let's go more complex section so um with the way that this works um i believe the pmc for these will be technically two um two yeah so from the two regiments of ogres we get two we still have our two regiments um so now we're going to go into more of the people that want to expand it a bit more so we've still got two regiments and oh wait we have two ogres now spare so we'll pop that here on so i have a notepad as well people that's why 
and we can do like a clicky. Obviously, you have your goblins. So, this is where we could get a bit of value. There's two different ways we can do this. We can stick to a regiment. And that will give us 15 dudes on the base, 5 spare. Or we could do it this method. You to take that regiment, send, put it in the bin, scrap that, fuck the regiment off, it's done with. But you go two troops. That gives you an additional model. So from that alone, we've then gone from three units to four with PMC. That with PM, like, from what I'm hearing is if you really wanted to, and scrapping the idea of going into all the heroes, you can get three units of ogres and, what, three units of um, goblins if you really wanted to? Uh, uh, unfortunately not. Ah. Because... No, yes. No, you could get three units of... Sorry. You can get the three units of ogres. Yes. Not the goblins. Unfortunately. So what's the minimum you have to have of the uh, goblins? So if you were to run troops, you're missing four goblins. That's it. Mm. Four goblins. But obviously, I'm not going to include the blue stuffing of bodies and stuff like that. I'm not going to include that. Because <laughs> that's a lot. That's a whole different kettle of fish. That, um, that's just adding more pain to a head to a migraine. Something like that. So, if we potentially take it from what we have right now. So, obviously, the saving is still the same at £15. But now, this is where we're now going to go into, ooh, let's look at some extra work. What can we do to really bring the value out on this? So, we will start with the ogre aspect. So, here is where it gets very, very interesting. The box of standard dudes. Um, do they have the boomers separately? You know, I would make the joke of, to make any more value out of it, you shove it in a, in a box of, uh, throw in a bit of glitter, and there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So here is where it gets very interesting. Um... So the unit at the minute doesn't have shooters, but they do have boomsticks. Okay, and that is why there's a slight difference between them. So obviously at this current minute, you cannot make the boomers, um, unfortunately, because you physically need to buy a shooter's horde to get this stuff. Nope. That's very interesting. Oh yeah, shooters. So you need to buy the shooter horde, apparently, according to this. Or you just try and find a way of getting a cannon and shoving a load of stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously the crossbows are an upgrade, so we can not even add that box, that value into it. So, we're still at a base £15 value. So, this is where the... Oh, let's go a bit crazy. Sort of stuff. Right, let's take magnetization into account here now. So, you could potentially make two regiments of boomers, two regiments of warriors, and two regiments of warriors with two-handed weapons that drops their defense to a four yes but you do get plus two for three on crushing strength so um, pain in general yeah they're gonna hit like a freight train they hit on threes they have a 24 no you have to get 25 or more to make them run off the table Oh, okay, so... For a regiment, they're 12 to 24. Nav. For warriors. So, pain. Yeah. A lot of pain. So, 
if we take the magnetization into account, we might as well, from there, we will deduct five pound with magnets. We will. Because you're going to spend at least a fiver on magnets. Funny enough, they're cheap and yep. easy to get. And I will drop a link to where I buy all my magnets from. So, this is now where we're going to get even more fruity. So, in reality, so far out this box, you have a potential to technically make three different units. So, your two regiments become, if you're willing to magnetize, become six regiments. And this is just for the ogres, because you're making two-handed war warriors, sword and, well, axe and... Um, shield warriors and you're making boomers you can make two troops uh two regiments of them the two guys each you are potentially doing that so as you can see straight out the back that's a big that's six regiments with the magnetization for spending five pound extra it's a good bit of value if you if you want to do the magnetizing yeah and i think that's like why we're and why i'm adding like the extra bits to show how much value more you can get from it if you're willing to just put a little bit of work and drill a couple of holes essentially ah uh, yes get early arthritis <laughs> yes and um obviously from there we are now going to look at characters for the ogres so we have Two character we have two ogres spare. And the ogres at the current minute have five characters they can make. So they have a warlock, a sergeant, a boomer sergeant, a berserker bully, the army standard, uh oh no, an og and an ogre warlord. So that's six. Uh, via the book, but you can only buy five online. You know what? I'm glad my mic doesn't catch up on me laughing every time you say boomer. Boom, boom. A um, <laughs> little bit of basil brush. That just shows my age. Um, oh, no, technically seven. Because you also get a unique guy. Uh, a character called a Ma Matari M Matarage. Um, I'm going to put my mouse over it so you guys can see which one it is because I butchered the hell out of that. Um, so... Obviously, ogre characters are a bit more pricey. They are £12.50 a pop. Obviously, the size of them, I think that kind of makes sense. Um, Just another £2 extra. Yeah. Oh, no. So, we're now going to take what we have spare with those two ogres. So... We can already turn around and say... Oh, we've got a paymaster as well. Okay, there's quite a few different ones we can make here. Um, I don't think he's here, is he? Is he... Now, no. if he's... you're going to go for the most value, you've got to go for the most expensive hero with the most expensive equipment. <laughs> so, um... let's... So, so, a Berserk Bully. Um, we will scrap just one ogre... Well, we don't even have to scrap one ogre completely off because we could use that as a base. So, you're looking at, out of those two ogres, you could potentially make the bully. So, we're up to £12.50 there saving. So, you could then make the boomer sergeant. Straight out the back. With a little bit of cutting and stuff like that you should be out of it pretty simply um obviously this next part is obviously if anyone wants to put the extra work in you could potentially make a paymaster with these ogres and we haven't even got into the goblin part yet people uh you could potentially make a warlock very very easily um you could make the uh, Martyridge, but that's obviously going to need a bit more work. That will need, obviously, doing the blue stuff method that I explained in the EOD section, uh, where you would do a arm, do a complete left arm, 
cut the hand away, do a blade from a weapon, put that on, green stuff it around, a bit extra work. So with just that alone, we... Is, yeah, it's a lot of work. You already yeah, have five they, characters. From from looking at this and looking at what you get is you get three units. Uh, well, two... Uh, sorry, four units, four and... goblin heroes, two uh, ogre heroes. That yeah. is a lot from yeah. just one box. So, but obviously there are some stuff in the book that isn't on the site. So, you also will be getting access to a sergeant. You will also get access to a army standard bearer, and you will probably need blue stuff for this to make. Or, if you've got any brass pipe, some hobby pipe, you could use that. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep, that is very, very it. Um... Obviously, I'm leaving out unique units and unique characters because, obviously, that's all down to perception if you want to do those. We're just going to take the base ones. So, obviously, that's a lot of characters from those two spare ogres. Obviously, magnetization would be required if you really wanted to get the full potential. But if you didn't, that's not an issue because you still get, as we as uh, Regret said, two characters, potentially. So oh, again, it's you out of the many variations that you could go for. You're only getting two, but you're going to get a lot more with the goblins. Yeah, but even though you're only getting two, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters, seven possibilities. So if you think about it from that one box. If you were playing it just from that box without adding on, that's seven characters. That if you magnetize, you could swap around each time. If, if you, you want to make the extra effort yeah. of making the parts. And <laughs> so if you were going to do these extra characters and put in that bit of extra effort, you actually save £87.50 from that seven characters from two ogres. Jesus Christ. And we haven't even gotten onto the six goblins we can mess around with. Four. We have four goblins. We have four goblins yeah. we can mess about with. So, obviously, we're now going to look at the goblins. So, obviously, as people know, goblins are goblins. They're just goblins. So, Chaotic little bundles of joy. So, we're already going to maximise these straight away. Without any issues. Oh, I did not know this. <laughs> oh God, more chaos. <laughs> so now, so with obviously the way they've designed this box, you actually do need to put them in regiments if you're playing this box. They can only go down to regiment size. So that's kind of sucky. So yes, we don't ha we lose a goblin, but we have five spare goblins now instead of four. Obviously, we're just going to be doing it out of base of what you can make from the book. So, this is where it gets very, very interesting. Because, obviously, you can't run the goblins and troops. They have to be regiments with ogres. But, they do get access to... If you want to run a rabble, you get legion and hordes. So, it's either 20, 40, 60... Same with the sharp sticks, and obviously they get hordes of range. Um, so Wait, that alone there. 20, yes. 40, 60 of more shooter pain. Uh, they're just a melee. Shooting, uh, so the archer ones only go up to 20s, but... Oh, that's good. So with magnetization, um, I actually forgot to include that for the ogres. So... I need to quickly go to the ogres because we forgot to add in the savings if you're going to magnetize it, the, the warriors. Okay, so it is one box ogres. So, potentially, if you were to magnetize the ogres, you would save an additional 50 quid. 
if you were to magnetize it. So a lot more than what we were predicting, which it's still up there, but oh, still yeah. not the best. Obviously, that's with magnetization, and we're, we're doing this just from a straight value of that box, and we're working out exactly what can we do to benefit that box. So the only reason I'm including two extra boxes on top of the savings is because if we're magnetizing, we get access to the double-handed, the boomers, and the warriors from that one box, and we can potentially swap up, etc. Um, very, very easily. So, now we're going to go to the gobos. And again, we can add the savings from that. So that would be an extra 50. Because if you're willing to put in the work, you can potentially get all three units out of one box with your magnets. That, for me personally, and I'm not sure if you'll agree with this, if it has more than one thing, I would prefer to magnetize it to benefit me more. Um, oh, well, I, I'm of the same opinion, unless you're doing exactly what I am with my guardsmen and just making every variant and spending the extra money. Yeah, so obviously as well, you don't have to spend, do what, don't have to follow this about making bonuses. Um, but obviously, this is something that you could potentially do so obviously you're left with five goblins unfortunately though no, there is only one goblin <laughs> hero for the army so, so you... you can make five variants of that one hero yeah <laughs> so if we take the maximum value that's 50 straight out of that another 50 quid so now we're gonna actually add everything obviously we're gonna minus the magnets so instead of the magnets being a fiver now i would potentially predict around about 10 pounds because you're gonna need a few you're gonna need uh 18 for the ogres you're going to need uh so magnet total, you're gonna need 18 for the ogres. With the regiments of gobos, you're gonna need another 45 there. So you're looking at quite a bit for magnets. Between 10 to 15, I would say, depending on where you go. Um, but here's the thing. So even though, yes, I've included the extra boxes, that's because of obviously what we were saying about, we're trying to get as much value out of this one box. Um, and you actually, this is this is going to be quite insane. This so, is where the value comes. Yeah. So your baseline value, baseline saving, no work. You're looking at fifteen pound. Baseline value fifteen pound. It's not great. No, let's let's be completely real. It's not great. But at the same time. This is no. This if. is all money, no time, no effort. Yeah. So, if you were to say maximum, so if you were to say maximum, sort of like if you were really going to put the work in, that everything. Your potential savings from this one box of the amount of um, product you are actually... I forgot to add the 15 onto it. Um, I'll have to do it on the other ones as well, the other two in a little while. Um, because it will increase their values. So the maximum savings with the £15, how much do you think it's going to be roughly? So, are we talking general, like, how much in the whole box, or is it just including the goblins? Cause... The whole thing. So, including the, the bonus goblin characters we can make, the bonus... Oh, yeah, you mean the bonus one leader goblin that these five extra goblins are going to go, No, I'm War Chief, no, I'm War Chief, no, I'm War Chief. Yeah, basically. Um, I would say it's got... It, it can't... Out of pure model numbers, it's probably equal or higher to the Ratkin. Uh, what for the, the, the price ex for extra work? For, yeah, 
Yes. You are nowhere near. Higher or lower? Higher. Oh, God. Uh, I'd say an extra 200, then. Higher. Extra 300? Lower. Off of... Okay, so 250. Um, it's actually £242.50p with extra work. Jesus. So, we now have a new front runner. Yep. Crazy that I honestly looked at this yeah. and went, I don't like the look at this one. Well, let's put it like this. You are getting seven ogre characters extra that you could potentially make with extra work. Each one of those five... characters are £12.50. Yep. So five you're... goblins, they're all pretty much going, no, I'm Spartacus. Yeah. yeah, so from the ogre characters alone, it's £87.50. From the goblin characters, it's 50 so, the reason there is extra is because we're magnetizing both the regiments, uh, the, the three regiments, because that one unit turns into three. Really wild what that, 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 that does. Yeah, and I could potentially throw in an extra 50 because we have two regiments, but I'm going based off of a how many you buy in a box. So, it's essentially a box of goblins and one box of ogres that the ogres make the two regiments. You can throw them into hordes as well, if you really want to. And you lose... No, you don't lose anything. You still have the two spare ogres. <laughs> two spare ogres. I think you yeah. only lose one goblin. No. Or... no, you don't even lose one goblin. Really? You still have the five spare, because PMC is 15. Uh, yeah, large infantry... No, so, so okay. If you were to make the ogres into a horde, you lose one. Which is only losing you about £12. No, it's not losing you anything. Really? Yeah. Because that still that one leftover ogre can make seven characters. Jesus Christ. So, potentially, you're actually making, with magnetization and a bit of extra work for green stuff, you're actually making 14. You have an option of 14 different characters. Seven characters, and you can make two of each one. So, if we take mid, so your mid range, so if you're going to get some extra work in, um, so that's 242.50. So, now we're going to look into the extra. So, you're probably now, let's say realistic, you're looking at 20 for magnets easily with all the extra work we're looking at doing. Here's where it gets interesting. Green stuff, you're probably looking at a tenner. Well, yeah, it is quite cheap depending on where you're going. <coughs> Not <Yep>. Warhammer. <laughs> um, yeah, go support your local FTS. So even with that, you are actually saving £212.50. Jesus Christ. If this yeah, is... New this, front runner. Yep, new front runner, this is. So from the way the box looks... Yes, it's not great. It is not the best one. But it has potential. It has a lot of potential. With this one box, it has better potential to make characters. If you um the Ratkin, you could only make um four characters. And the EOD, you could only make um, four characters with three being upgraded to a horse. So seven. Okay, seven. So you're making I, this... I miscounted. Yeah, so you are making the same characters, but obviously as well, it all goes based on prices. EOD heroes are £10. Ogres are £12.50. And they don't have goblins in there to boost up even more. Again, so, it's the only army that features two separate armies. So, yeah. so obviously, yeah. So obviously, goblins are neutral um, if you play them with um, the ogres. But obviously, goblins have their own army. Ogres are separate as well. But you kind of need goblins in an ogre army. Otherwise, you have no troop. You have no basic infantry. So, so after the breakdown with the extra work. You have a base saving of £15 retail. If you're willing to put in maximum sort of um, effort, we'll call it, or if you really want to get a bit more value out of the box, you're looking at a £242.50 saving. 
obviously with magnetization, if you take out the cost of supplies, you're looking at £212.50. Roughly. Roughly. With this, obviously, this is all just like estimates. It depends on how much it costs in the local area for magnets and stuff like that. But I will link some magnet sites, uh, the one that I use down below. Um, so, obviously, that is now a new front runner. Um, and that's and quite insane. Awesome. And I'm assuming we're moving on to the goblins. Yes, it is goblins next. Uh, I, 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 I do have a bit of a bone to pick with this one as well. Okay. Um, so obviously you get, before we do your bone, uh, we obviously get a few different things. We obviously get the, the three different units you can make with the goblin boxes, basic, and then we get something called a mincer that is something new. Um, hey look, I put a hey look, I put a blender on the front of my car. <laughs> yeah, basically. So straight out the back, base model count is forty one models. So that is already um the exact amount as fun fact EOD. Um and I'm now trying to see if we can buy the mincers separately. Like I'm looking at this, and I will start. Well, I'll start my bone to pick with this. This is the only box in the whole range that doesn't show the back of the box to tell you exactly what's in there, and or show me what I what what I'm getting. So I don't know how many um of the mincer mobs you're getting. Okay. So. Or, the, or how much you're getting in it. I, I I have to actually start reading to know like how much is in there, but it doesn't okay. give you the precise no, it does. So it's the Mincer Mob Troop, and they are actually three models. Now this is where it's going to get really interesting. I want to know what you can make with the Mincer Mob. There's two. It's now part of another kit. Ooh. So, the kit alone, so if we add up the price, for the basic foot guys, you're looking at 50 quid, because it's two regiments. The mincer box is 35 for a saving of £85. Well, base. Separate is 85 you're saving 50 So, before we even go into our technical stuff again, um... One, most expensive separate. Two, the biggest saving. So far. So far. And this is our fourth box in. Yeah. Yeah. Box. Like, we've got four, uh, two left, and it's halflings and the forces of whatever the hell. What, so, the obviously, we've just <laughs> those base stats of 85 separate, 50 pound savings, compared to the other ones, what are your thoughts? It being the thing uh, with the most savings, I do like it. I am just looking at the Mincer mob going... Uh, this is the one that drags me in the most, because the Mincer mob just looks so cool. And it, it's just setting off a part of my brain going, Ooh, I want to see what this Blender on Wheels does. And like this is the first one that I can honest to say has attracted and made me go. It might be worth picking up goblins. So, obviously, with the box you get two regiments of base troops. So that's what forty models there, because each well from what the from what the pictures show it's. Uh, five wide, four deep. That's twenty models. Yeah, but so it comes with two regiments. Yeah, so it comes with two regiments of basic, and then one troop of the other one. Yeah, mince mob. So twenty, no, forty-three in general. Forty-three in total, base. Now we're going to go into my funky little thing again. So. Oh. Because this is a goblin army, we get access to troops. 
because this is a pure goblins. Where are you in the book? Obviously, I still have the second ed book. Uh, I'm just wondering oh, no, they, how are, they are the same. They are literally the same. I'm just wondering how many goblins you can make in Spartacus here. <laughs> so, no matter what, we have two regiments of gobbos. So and you can get a maximum of, what, 10 out of it? 10 spare. We have 10 spare gobbos. Straight out of the back. So, I need to look at something as well. So, obviously, we have the mincers. I don't have those in this book, but obviously, I don't need to know the rules. I know what kit they're from. I need to see if there is something on. We I'm have gonna... one spare chariot. They're just blenders on wheels for me now. Uh, times one mince. Uh, and I put basic. One times troop. Mints. And that gives us actually one mints of spare. I just want to know what the heck you're doing with the spare mints uh, and what your plans for it is. So, let's start off with the gobbo spare. So, obviously, we're going to do the same where we throw in the extra boxes to add on. So, your goblin regiment. Creates three different units. Spears, warriors, and the shooty guys, the bow people now are coming. The remember. archers. Yeah. So that straight away, you are saving with magnets, fifty pound. That's At this box. already quite good. But this is where it gets interesting. That mincer doesn't just make mincers, people. It makes chariots. It is part of the chariot kit now. Huh. And this is where we're going to get very, very fruity. So, there is a way where we can potentially do some wacky stuff here. Because if you want to use the mincers, this is where it gets really interesting. It has one gobbo sitting in it. That then potentially will give us six more spare goblins. So that brings our total up to 16 spare gobbos on foot. But wait, there's more. There is more. There's more gobbos? Yep, because of it builds a chariot as well as the mincer. That 16, we can turn into another regiment. So that is three regiments. Um, if you really want to add an additional regiment. So that will potentially... If you think about this now, this is where we're going to get really technical. You're still saving your 50. You're still saving your 50, so bear that number in uh, mind. You have one gobbo left over. But, say you're going, you know what, don't want to build the mincers. Not really feeling it. This is where we get very interesting. So we will potentially, if you want to build the, uh, so if you build the mincers, that's fine. But, this is where it gets interesting. We then get six spare more beasts. So this is where we're now going to get the maximum value out of this box. And I find this hilarious with what I'm about to predict here and show you guys. So we've got six more beasts. Yep. Yep. That is enough to make a troop of flea bag riders that are the cavalry. So we have some various options. So option one, you can make an additional regiment and have the sharpshooters, the spears, and the warriors all on the field with one spare ogre, uh, goblin. Option two, you keep your spare goblins. 
You take five of those goblins. That will then drop you to 11 spare goblins, right? And you make yourself a flea bag unit. So you get an additional unit. out. You get a brand new unit out of that box. Straight out of the box. You get your first cavalry unit. Oh wait, that leaves you then after that two spare more beasts. You still have two remaining. So what we'll do is we'll take option two for this one. So we'll, we'll take option two and we'll keep option two. So now out of this box... Your new army will be two regiments on foot um, of any of the combos. You then get your mincers. And we're, we're going for maximum value here. You also get a troop of flea bags. So out of this one kit... As long as that comes with the spare... This is obviously if it comes with the spare goblins to make the chariot, because it is the same kit. So I'm pretty sure it will. Um, I will double check to make sure it's not like an upgrade sprue. Like a resin one. No, it literally just says three chariots uh, with crew. So it will come with the chariots. So this is... You can already see where I'm going with this now, can't you? Chaos. More and more chaos. So... Here is the savings. So you've already got 50 quid from the regiment stuff, yeah? Yep. What you then do is you throw an extra £17.50 on because you're getting a troop of flea bags, not a regiment. So you've now bumped yourself up to two regiments and two troops. You have some cavalry. You also have some foot infantry. You also have base infantry. So you've got potentially... Um, decent army. Yeah, you have quite a decent little army. If you think about it. And re realistically, you do have quite uh, quite a lot. Um, oh, wait. But there is more. There is more. We can add in. So, this is where more magnetization comes in. You get an additional unit because those flea bags don't just make flea bags, people. They make rider sniffs. So these are mounted cavalry with bows. So in reality, you are saving the exact price of those flea bags, the box for a regiment. If you magnetize this, this stuff and do a bit of work, you've got the extra. So... Yeah, I feel you like this. This is this is not a bit of work now. This is like yeah. a day to a week's worth of work. Um, obviously, you have to edit the legs a little bit with the goblins to get them on the flea bags. Um, or if you are good for green stuff, build a little platform on top for them to stand on. Uh, think of it as medieval jousting, something like that. Um, so you've actually, with option two, you save another thirty pound because you get an additional two different types of cavalry. So that now leaves us two more beasts, and that will then also leave us twelve goblins spare. So now this is where we're going to get quite interesting. Look, as long as I'm not getting twelve Spartacus um, goblin no, heroes, we have a bigger. lot of we have a lot of characters for goblins now. So there's a few different ones we can actually make here. Um, so obviously, we will go through the characters that we have on the site. Well, in the book, so we have the bigot. We have one of those. We have a king. We have a flagot. Three so far. There's a lot. It goes bigger. 
So what I'm hearing is we might have just enough goblins to f if you really wanted to to make one I of lost. each. Potentially, yeah. We have a Scringit. We also uh, have a Wiz. Five. Yep. So here are some other things. Is that a got there? So because we do have a lot of spares, I am going to throw in the unique units. Because there's two. Um, I should be white because it looks really awkward. Um, so, obviously, we have that one. We don't have that one. Yeah, that's there, that's there, that's there. Yeah, that's on there. We also have the Goblin Sneak. That's six. And my pen has just started dying. Wah, wah. Sword. And here is the other thing. We also can... This will potentially a little bit of work. This is where the extra work stuff comes. You can make a bang it. So we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven, right? So that yep. is an additional seventy pound savings. Oh wait, that. That's if you're wanting to go with one of each goblin, and then you still have... Five gobos left. Yeah, five gobos left. Like, this is this is the box that if you wanted heroes, you'd do. Yeah. <laughs> no, it gets better. It does get a lot better. As long as there's no, like, no, like five more heroes that you could make, then yeah. No, you can make <laughs> a fair few heroes. So, do you remember we have those more beasts left? Those two yep. spare. Almost every single character can be put on a more beast. <laughs> Jesus. So we have the bigot that can go on a more beast. We then also have the king that can go on a raw beast. We have the flagget that can go on a war beast. Did I put the bang? Yeah, bang it, sir. Okay, bang it can't. Uh, Skinrit can't. That can't. Oh, wait, the Wiz can go on it. So we actually get a potential four other character options. So you can, <laughs> you can see where this is going, can't you? Even you with it. that, so even with this, we still actually have a Gobbo spare. <laughs> and that's... That's not even like adding the fact that we're um Magnetizing. putting magnets in it. You're just getting those heroes if yeah. anything. Yeah. So yeah, so you have a potential of making all seven additional ones plus two that can be mount two mounted without magnets. So this is without magnets. If you want to put magnets on, you've got an additional two characters. Cause you only need two gobos for the riding. Yep. So, actually, that actually only brings us to nine out of the gobos. We have three remaining. Jesus. Now, this like, is where I, it, this is where like, interesting. I like goblins, but has they ever thought of too much gobbo? No, it gets better. Now, this is where the blue stuff comes in. Oh god. You but... can you can make um Magua and Joes because you have a spare gobbo. So we're down to two spare goblins now. Because you can make that character. And all you have to do is take the more beast and make a copy of it with your blue stuff. Obviously, when I mention the blue stuff stuff, that's for your own personal use. Do not sell because obviously it's personal use. So and you do actually not state you're using it out loud. <laughs> well, it just depends, don't it? Yep. So you are making a unique character that is then giving you an additional saving of twelve pound fifty. But wait, we have two gobos spare. Um, I don't think we can make the other unit character. 
I don't think we can. No, so oh, he doesn't. Boy, have, he boy, doesn't what have a will model. we make now? <laughs> so he doesn't have a model. So I'm going to take it as if it's the exact same one as the other guy. Oh, it's a lizard. Okay, so this one's riding a lizard. So you can't. No, you can't. But he does have a model. But obviously we're not taking that. We're taking what we have in the box. So sadly, we can't make any more unique stuff. No, but we do get one unique character. So I just realized this stiff regiment is actually more expensive. So we that actually we need to put another thirty five pound on that saving because we can make a stiff. I uh, know it's a troop, so it's seventeen pound fifty. It all just comes down to if you can if you can put in the time and the effort, mm. your value can go up very fast. Yeah. So with the two regiments, you're already saving fifty from that. From the troop of chariots, you're not saving much, but you're saving a bit. Um, and then if we take the flea bags, um, so what's that to? I think that's to the flea bags, yeah. So the flea bags, you're saving. Um, right, I need to redo all my math here. So the flea bag. So first of all, it's fifty for the regiments. Yep. Then with the flea bags, you're saving in total fifteen. And then, 65. then you got the sniffs that are an additional fifteen. Plus the 80. seven. Plus the seven basic characters is seventy. Plus the four riders is another forty. Plus the name character is 1250. I forgot one thing though. Oh god. We have a spare chariot. Slash don't, tell me don't tell me there's an actual chariot hero. There is a chariot hero there. So, goes back to the blue stuff. Make two molds. Take Make two more, more beasts. You get a king on chariot. And we will put his price at £12.50. Because it is a chariot. So it's another £12.50. So. After all of this. We are. One goblin spare. We're one goblin spare. Now. But wait. There's more. <laughs> Please no. come on. There Make is, it more chaos. There oh, is, there is a way to do it if you do it smartly. And this is, you're going to love this, is an artillery piece. Ooh. Because of the wheels from the chariot, you take your blue stuff, you make two of them, two spares. You could potentially make the sharp stick thrower um i don't think it has a model for me to look at no it does pointy sticks so you could make a sharp ship um make a custom one oh wait that's an additional 22 pound 50 saving like if you really wanted to you could turn that sharp stick if you don't have anything just grab a toothpick yeah show sharp stick so that is another £22.50 saving. Obviously, this is all the extra bits with blue stuff and magnets. This is how this is where I come into play more because regret's still very new to this. With me, I'm able to analyze stuff a lot more, and you can potentially make a lot of stuff with a lot of different things. No, so, I'm just willingly shelling out extra money to make the other units. Yeah. Whereas <laughs> And so we will now go to the price. So obviously we do need to include the savings that we're already getting. So.
Now, that is very surprising, that total. Oh, God. Take a rough guess. So, I've got to assume that it's going to be high... Like, I'm assuming we're going to have a new leader yes. of the category. Yes. I'm going to say 350. Lower. It's not by much. It's not oh, by much, uh, but it is... 275. Higher. 300. It's £287.50 for maximum value without... Jeez. This... Obviously, this is the potential. Obviously, we're now going to minus the supplies. So, it's 50 for base. Yep. So, let's do that in a little box of its own. That's 28750 for max. So, if we minus our supplies, in reality, let's take out 40 for this one. Because there's a lot more magnetized age. Uh, we'll take 50, actually. To be 50 because you also got to think you've got to do the blue stuff yeah. and everything. You, you've got to do a lot of yeah. work for this one to pay out that high. Yeah. So, taking 50 out for supplies, so this will include your melee part, your green stuff, your blue stuff, your magnets. If you already have this stuff lying about, you've already yeah. hit, you, you've, you're at max. You're, you're saving 28750. Even with those supplies out, you're still saving £237.50. A hell of a lot. Yes, you're looking at about, I would say, a week's work for basic oh, level. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> basic level a week's work. If you're looking at it, you're looking at a month, a full month of yeah. building, painting, recasting, and a lot of work. But well, that's if you got uh, something along the lines of Mango's red uh, thing of, I can spend all the time I want on this. Yeah. So, obviously now we've gone through the full breakdown with all the extras and stuff. What do you think now with the savings and everything you could do out of this one box? With what you can do out of this box, again, the... Uh, again... As I said, this is the only one that I seem a bit more interested in because, hey, look, I've got a blender on wheels. Mm -hmm. But with it now taking the top spot of value, it's surprisingly more scary. Yeah. But and... again, it being the most appealing one so far for me is a surprise because I don't even collect goblins. I... I'm starting with halflings, and that's funnily enough the next one we're going into. But again, it looks decent. I do like the looks of it. It it looks t properly tied in. Mm. And I think it also just goes with the thing is goblins are a horde army. So. Especially with the fact of how much you, how many yeah. you can get out of it. Yeah, so you've you've got a few different options, obviously, because obviously you can throw in the extra regiment. That's fine. If you want to throw an extra regiment in, go ahead. You leave one orc. You would leave one gobo. Me personally, I would actually do the second option and get a flea bag unit with the sharp stick one. With the addition, so you'll have the flea bags with art spears and shield. You'll have it for the bows. You'll also then have the extra stuff to then make nine characters and four riding. And one of those characters is on a chariot. This is also with the assumption of this is coming with what's the in the part. box. Yeah, if the mints is coming with the chariots if, parts as well, that the might only but the things the only, it will. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that I would say is that worries me is that it might just be the mincer. mincers on its own. And even if that is the case, you only lose the flea bag unit. That is all you lose. Exactly. You it's not much. Your, yeah. So you. And, well, it's that and the um. Uh, that and the heroes on Cav, but yeah, that's so not much. If it doesn't come with the chariots as well, you lose your flea bag, your sniff. So you lose your 35. Well, it loses your, value, but it's it, it not. It loses a little, not much, but you could potentially. You would then also obviously lose the 
the characters on Raiden, the unique one, and the you uh, king on chariot. But with how the actual box is, I don't think they would leave it out. Because it is the exact same kit, and it doesn't say that the minces are an upgrade part. Exactly. So uh, I'm going. It, yeah. We're taking the best case scenario, but again, that's the only worry I have until we actually see mm. the box in person, or people have started building them yeah. and sit and say. Yeah, no, you get these pieces. And obviously, um, just a disclaimer: I will be buying the boxes, and we will be. How I've said the maximum potential, we will be building the maximum potential. <laughs> oh, you will. Well, I, I, will yeah. I will continue painting my Imperial Guard army because... Mm. Yay. So, obviously, we now have our next army we are going to be looking at. And, obviously, this is the one that Regret is playing. And that is the Halflings. So, we... I, I don't see much potential in this other than... Uh, maybe uh, you could maybe make one of each hero. So, halflings, you get forty models. So are straight you, out, forty I'm about models. To say, are you sure that looks like thirty to me? Uh, no, it is thirty. I miss. You I... miscounted by ten somehow. Some magical mystery. <laughs> so, obviously... So, you're getting two units of cavalry yep. and one 20-man unit of spears. And... That is it. Uh, now, I'm not <laughs> the one who's in all the knowledge of how small you can make the units, so... <laughs> so, this is where it's going to make people laugh. There is no saving. Hmm. Yeah. Do you want to know why? Is they're, is they're really bloody cheap? <laughs> no. Because you were actually buying a halfling battle group. That is £35. Jesus Christ. So there is no saving at all. You might as well buy a battle group, people. Unless you want to play ambush, then obviously buy the ambush stuff. So, knowing this now, there's no saving. What is your opinion on this box? Not worth it. <laughs> I love halflings, but come on. Yeah, so that is the thing. Obviously, I don't have the halfling book with me. The book with I, do. I, I packed it away. Because but... you were a wombat. I am aware with the basic halflings, you can make three different units. You can make your braves, your spears, and your gunners. So just straight out the back, you're looking at two red, two regs, and... So I, I will troop. agree with you. You can make uh, all three... Hopefully you can make all three variants, because the you cavalry can. comes with the guns, so... You should be able no, to make. The cavalry comes with the spears as well, so you get both yeah. variants of riders and the friends, So, and you're wrong, by the way. You get four types. You got braves, spear spikes, stalwarts, and then the halflings, uh, the halfling rifles. Uh, stalwarts. Those are your infantry choices. <laughs> the stalwarts you won't be able to make out of uh, the infantry. No, sadly, you wouldn't be able to. Because stalwarts are actually something else. They are a different you're unit. What? I think, yeah, I think they are. Stalwarts are the knights. The knighty ones. They're, they're still an infantry. Yeah, but they're an upgrade kit. You have to buy an upgrade kit to make them in stalwarts. Which, again, sadly. Obviously, if you have a 3D printer, that's different. But we're doing this with no 3D printing extra parts, no extra parts, no upgrade kits, what's in the box and what you can do. Obviously, we are, gonna, we are allowing the blue stuff into it to make replicas because, obviously, potential. That's yeah. not physically buying new product to upgrade it you're using what's in that box and you're just Perfectly. duplicating it so straight off the back you've got your two regiments and your two yep. troops so obviously like, as always we're gonna do our magnetization 
malarkey. So this is where our savings will come in. So and PM, and PMC, come on. and PMCs. Come on. So come on, redeem yourself, box. Come on, please. <laughs> obviously, with if I remember correctly, all so the spears, the braves, and the the gunners can come in troops. Uh, I will double check that if you... it stops being slow. Yes, no, the minimum regiments for the Braves, the halflings can go into uh, troops. Okay, what about but the gunners? That's what I meant. The halfling rifles are minimum 10, maximum 40. The Braves and the spearmen, well, and the spears. The Braves can go maximum of a legion. Spear spikes can go maximum of a forty. Okay, what's the horde. minimum? What's the minimum? Twenty, sadly. Okay, so PMC, not really much. Your unfortunately, you will have to magnetize fifteen of them and run the regiments. Yeah. But you're still getting five spares, so... Yeah, so you're looking at five spare. Five spare halflings. Which comes down to a sergeant, a muster captain, a feast master, uh, an engineer, and a sorcerer. Yeah, but there's there's going to be a lot I can, you can do but with But so. you can't really do much with a sorcerer, because you need a pot and... Well, you need a cauldron, so... Yeah, so you... So you actually only get the one reg... From your basic infantry. So one regiment, okay. you get your two troops. Uh, your two troops of riders or a regiment. Because either way, it's four or eight. So no matter what, you have two dogs spare. But for this purpose, we will put them as troops. For maximization. So. This is where we now have to really think. Well, if you've got two dogs spare, I know you can't give the muster captain or any of the special ones, but you can give a sergeant. I think the sergeant can go on one of the dogs. Yeah, they can. Okay. These are all. That's yeah. the only issue. There isn't much in the way for okay. halfling to work so, around. Okay, so first of all, with our five halflings, with a bit of work... You can make a captain. Yep. Well, a master captain. Yep. You can make a sorcerer. Yep. A sergeant, a feast master, and an engineer. Uh, both me. So the engineer. Yep. See, I've got the book. That's the fun part. Yep. <laughs> and then we've also got... There's a few heroes I think we missed off. Well, I know that you. there's only five heroes in general, unless you're adding... Oh, the Greedy Guts, uh, yeah, and the two named. So, Greedy Guts and Feastmaster, and then what was the one that you said? So, Greedy Guts, Master Captain, Sergeant, Feastmaster, uh, Sorcerer, and Engineer. Those are the six you can make, unless you have a troll, which we don't. Oh, it's so a Sergeant was the other one, yeah? Yes, Sergeant and Master Captain are different. Okay, so I have the, the muster captain, the sorcerer, the engineer, greedy guts, feastmaster, and sergeant. That's all the characters, yeah? Yep, there's six unless you're going with named. Okay, we're not going to do named at this point. The only reason we done named on the goblins was because we were physically we able... We had too many goblins. We were able to actually physically do it. So, this is where it's going to get interesting. So, for an example, the... Okay, so the engineer is 10. Yep. We'll place the sergeant at 10 as well. Yep. We'll place the master captain as 10. So these are going to be, I'm just going to say the 10s are foot. What it is on foot. Obviously, yeah. obviously the feast master, greedy guts and sorcerer can actually go on a doggo as well, but they are 12.50. Yep. So Sorcer the only ones that can... Sorcerer I can. A no, sorcer yeah, no. The, I was saying the Greedy Guts can't. No. Because so, in the book, it doesn't state that. That's the okay. issue. Okay. Um, what ones can go on Doggo? 
So sorcerer and sergeant are your only ones. No, captain, master, uh, master. Master, master captain as well. Okay. Those are the three that the book states can go on the Azarals. Okay. Or however you want to say them, I will butcher the name. So it is the master captain, the sorcerer, and then the sergeant. Yeah. Yep. So three of the six. So this is where obviously we need magnetization coming in as well. And if you really wanted to go it, you could blue stuff another dog. You could. Oh yeah. That's completely definitely. down to you guys. And it's also because there is only one, two, three, four, five, six, you could potentially blue stuff another half and boy. Um, because you will have enough heads to just you should have a few spare heads, or if you're already a halfling player, you've probably got some flame So, potentially, you could, um, with a blue stuff, uh, put it as a separate category, though. So, blue stuff, you could potentially go to six spare, three dog. So, six foot, three dog. So, theoretically, you can make everything, all your characters. Oh, yeah. So, this is where the savings actually do come in. And it's very, very little for the amount of work you have to do. Yay. And there is Maybe a, a redeeming quality. <laughs> so, so, we've got... Uh, 15. What doesn't help is, I will say now, that the three of the characters come in a bundle. And they're oh, £12.50. Yeah, pound 50. yeah that, that's £12.50 for all three of them, which, okay. again doesn't help okay so the sorcerer on foot and the sergeant i'm going to put as the same price because they're not as expensive as the other guy so 42.50 plus 18 plus 12.50 plus 12. okay so we're going to take out supplies now this includes magnets um welcome to the worst one this is this is just sounding worse and worse for my good. my my halflings here <laughs> so the maximum you can get out of this box if you do not include having to pay for extra parts if you already have that Yep. So if you don't have to pay for your blue stuff and green stuff because you already have it, and the magnets, you already have them, your maximum saving is £85.50. Oh, not even triple digits. That hurts. But if you don't have the stuff, we are but... going to have to deduct. You're looking at about 25 I'll say, to that, be safe. That hurts. So your actual overall saving, so that's your mid. So your mid tier sort of section is only going to be £60.50 if you do not have the blue stuff and green stuff. <laughs> that hurts for halflings. Like, the amount of value we've been able to dig out of the other... all the other ones and then finding out that well, that you could just buy this, but without the rules. Yeah, for the same uh, price. Yeah, yes, they... fair enough, you're getting a book with it, but... Um, weirdly enough, that's not the lowest value. This is heartbreaking. Break it to me gently. Um, the lowest value, weirdly enough, is um, Ratkin. At 82, really? at maximum value, without buying the extra bits... Um, it's £82.52. Right, this is so far, though. we still got Two one more, more army. One more army, yeah, we've got the BSs. Um, and obviously, this is going to be a long video, people, but we're going through everything to really breaking it down, going, okay, from a beginner point of view, this is pretty good. Right, how can we take these boxes to the next level and make them incredibly more value for money more point cost because technically 
if you were to take these to the maximum values of what we're doing here, you're looking at anywhere possibly between 500 to 1,000 points out of one box for 35 quid. With your extra parts. And here's me say, think, hoping you would say 500 to 1,000 pounds. <laughs> so, obviously, now you know that there's no saving, you might as well buy a hut. Um, if you don't want to play, obviously, right, uh, Ambush. Obviously, you are getting the rules as well and the extra parts as well. So, yes, despite it not being a savings, you get the book. Um, and you also get like quick start rules and stuff. So, knowing there's no savings and knowing what you can create with saving some money, but obviously you only get a maximum. Lot. Yeah, if you. So obviously, obviously as well. Like you can still. The only reason we are including the the extra boxes is because you can technically break them down. And you can make you get in three different values, so you don't have to buy extra boxes to make those extra units because you can just swap the magnets, magnet, uh, magnet arms out of the way. Um, that is the only reason we're doing it like this. Otherwise, if you want to buy the extra boxes, go ahead. But obviously, with everything we've done, where you can make every character with a bit of extra work, what is your opinion now on this box? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh. it, it, it's not fair for the, uh, like the amount of um, stuff but then again this is a army that has recently they're, come out it, um, they don't have as much as they're, every they're, other they're also a lot cheaper in game let's be oh, real yeah. you, so yeah. I, I, if people haven't seen I have a half thing army myself that's about 3000 points and there's a lot of models in it <laughs> Could I've gone PMC. So, despite not having any savings, it is second. It is at the minute uh, one, it's two, three. It's worth four, it if it's you need the rules. Four. If you don't need the rules, go with the other box. Yeah. So it is unfortunately the 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 lowest one we have at the minute for savings is actually Rackin. You get wow. Not much more than the halflings because obviously the ratkin, if you put the extra work in for the extra stuff, you can potentially bump that to £82.50. And with the halflings, it's £85.50. So it's a £3 difference. Um, but obviously, if we go per model count, the ratkin one is a lot better value because you get 41 miniatures not 30 so you get that uh, extra 11 miniatures for three well, for three pound um so obviously at the end of this we'll also be putting it all straight down into everything who knew three pound could cause depression <laughs> yes <sir. laughs> um so obviously we have our next one and this is the last ambush set they sell and this is good old Forces of Abyss, Demons. Um, and this is where extras will become very, very complex. I will just like to put out there. Because Forces of Abyss are one of those ones, they don't have a lot of stuff. Yay! Possibility of the... the um... Halflings not being the yep. worst. So, Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so, we will go to value now. So, you're getting 40 miniatures. Straight out the back. So, you get one regiment, two troops. What is your opinion straight off on that? I look at this and go... I like the design, I like the looks of it, but again, I'm my brain just switches to why the demonettes red. <laughs> yeah. Um, so obviously we're going to now go through and calculate everything. So your succubi, I believe, are a regiment. Yep, so that is £25 straight away there. Um, lower abyssals... It's only a troop, so unfortunately it is only £12.50 because they only sell boxes of regiments. And then we are going to then go to Fleabarrows. What do they look like? 
Are there those ones? Where are you? Now I've got to try and find them. Hmm. This could be interesting. I don't think you can buy those outside. Let's Just see. from looking at this, I am going to a well. You, Fifteen is your max for the succubus. Is that well, for the minimum. Yes. I'm just wondering what succubus heroes you could make. Cause I, 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 I don't, I don't play this army. There's I two. Not... There's only two oh. succubus heroes, and I don't play them either. Yeah, <laughs> this is the fun part of trying to figure it all out. Okay, so I think they might be under abyssal dwarfs. The unit I'm looking for. I'll have a look. Because obviously they are part of the same like, fraction, apparently. Nope. So more of a headache. Yep, you there, go... There's a unit you can't flame bearers. I might have to have a look and see if they have a price for them quickly. Because um, I can't find them. Oh no, they're lost to the ether. Okay, found them. And they are a Mantic Direct. So, how many do you get here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you get five there. So, they are plus 7.99, plus 7.99. See, this is the chaos of not pre preparing yourself. Well, it's not pre preparing, it's just like going through it at the same time. So, retail. So, if you were to buy it separately, it is £53.48. So, what, and the most expensive one we've had so far? No. Because most of them are coming around, around, uh, around about 50 No, the most expensive was Goblins, and that ended up with the biggest saving as well. <laughs> the saving is £18.48 at the minute. At the current minute. Um, I forgot to add. Oh no, I was going to say I forgot to add the half in save one from the just base box, but there isn't one. Yeah, exactly. So we are going to go PMC. So we're already at one regiment, one troop. Uh, two troops. Yep. One reg. Of oh, suck. <laughs> <laughs> one troop. <laughs> um, and one troop here of. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> Uh, so we've got lower abyssals and flames. Lower and flames. So obviously PMC, we will walk away with four times lowers. Five times succubus. And five five. five sucks. Uh, I actually put sucks as in sucks. Um, not <laughs> succubus, <laughs> not how they spell it. Um, so, this is where it's going to get very, very difficult because, one, you can't make any extra regiments or troops out of this box. Full stop. That would make a lot of sense for if you're looking at an army with a small range of um, models. Yeah. Right, now we need to find them in the book. Spurs forces all of this. I don't think they even have like a large section either in the book. No, they don't. Right. Let's go over to also their page. See, now this is where I'm holding out hope. Yeah, I would hold out hope as well. Redeeming qualities for the halflings. We found a worse so... one. So. <sighs> <laughs> so there's one issue with the succubus characters they're on cavalry nope they have wings meaning we really cannot make no you succubus can't. unless okay. you're willing to green stuff wings and i'm not willing to put someone through that pain 
Yeah, that that's horrible. So th can't do much with succubus. What about the other one? Well, uh, technically you can. I don't like the technicality, but go on. You tech. Oh, whoops! I think I broke my PC. Huh? There we go. How did you it do just, that? It was just taking a while to load. So you can technically make the two characters. You can technically make them. So you can make the succubi seductress. Yep. They just won't have wings. That is the only issue. Again, but you that could is something... green stuff it if you're willing to go yeah. down that path. Is that a named character? I think we can make a named character out of this as well. Oh, God. We can actually make a named succubus character. As sort of like... Um... Yes, technically we're proxying because it does have an official model, but we're taking from what we can make out of this box. So we can make two characters, two names. They're only 10 quid each. So nothing special. Let's be real. So from that, um, I don't think we can make much more. No, because I, I don't know what you can make with the other demons. You could take two of the lovers and make an abyss um, effort. Yeah. Like, the only thing I could probably and say is you could proxy other heroes using succubuses, but that's mm, just more, really. pro it's more proxy work. So let's see what we've got. So you've done the... Okay. Archfiend is the big big dude. I'm pretty sure it's a big dude. Yeah, Archfiend is that big dude. So we can't make him. The spoiler champion. Can't make that. Harbinger. Where's a Harbinger model? Does it have one? And plus if it doesn't have a model, then it's sort of you laughing. Could yeah. Probably yeah, you try could probably and make, make something. Yeah, you could with a bit. Obviously, this is the extra work thing. So the Harbinger doesn't have. Uh, I think that's a dwarf. I think that might be a dwarf. I've got a funny feeling it's an abyssal dwarf model. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, so I'm on the dwarf section right now to have a look. No, it's not. Okay, cool. So we can make a no, harbinger. No, it, it's an, just another demon with wings, though. Um, a harbinger, uh, you can mount it. It's a mounted demon. Yeah. So, so it's, a, it's an option. You can't really make it. Due no, you to can. Cavalry base. Nope, you can because it's an upgrade. It can be on foot as well. Oh, okay. Um. Was there an Abyssal Warlock here? Nope, but so that's an additional character. We're gonna leave it if it ha if it has wings, then yeah, it's a bit different. If again it just comes down to if you can make the effort to green stuff yeah. it on. If it comes down to I think I do have some spare Tyranid wings somewhere. Yeah. Um, you can't even make the blood, uh, the, the Heliquim blood masquerade because it is a mount, mounted one. From what this looks like, this it's literally ha is going to be, this is the one with the least value. This is the one that you can't really make much out of. No, because we're already down technically two. We've used two of our succubus and all four of the lowers. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, four. Which isn't good. I hate to tell you this, it's beat halflings. How? It's actually possibly beat halflings. It's beat their mid tier. 
for a death okay. because you don't have to do any work. You literally oh, yeah. have no work to do to it. Okay, so obviously we have our min max. So out of that box, you'll still have. Uh, well, technically. You can make two extra. You can make an additional three succubus characters, technically, because you have three spare for a succubuses. You've used all your lowers, so we might as well throw on uh, an extra three uh, characters worth. And then I just put at the bottom three um, succubus characters. If you can make it, you can do it. So. Yeah. We can make it, we have the parts to do it, so that's additional. Because all their characters are, weirdly enough, only £10 a piece. So that's where the value is coming from. So, after knowing that, you can make nine additional characters, but you get no units, and there is going to have to be green staff work for the succubus characters. That's a hell of a lot of green staff work, unless you have friend uh, friends who play stuff that have wings and have spare yeah. wings so if we say just from the box without making the wings it's all on foot but you make them unique in a way that they're not as close um your bottom tier so your base savings uh your base savings i think it says it's about 18 pounds something like that. yeah 1848 your base savings is 1848 Obviously, because we've been able to make those, they used the three extra succubuses, halflings, they did be. Sadly. So, what do you think the max is? Uh, I can't say too much. Maybe 30, <laughs> 30, 30 60? £108 on 40 AP. Wow. And you're only going to be spending £10 for green stuff. So we need. So your That's mid tier bad. is ninety eight forty eight. So from a box that we both were like, hmm, <laughs> that's potentially quite good. It's not bad. It's not the best. It's yeah. not the worst. Like the uh, the only thing is obviously one the name character you can make. Um. Obviously, you can't make the wings. So, it's one of those ones that's, yeah. It's not More too annoying. bad. Yeah, so, now we're going to make the tier system between them. So, I need to actually do this and do this actually properly. So, I need to tear this out so I can actually... Okay, okay, properly. So obviously, so it's still very good now. It's better now. So thirty-five pounds, you get one hundred and eighty value out of it if you if you're willing to do the extra stuff. So if we do our tier system now, halflings are going to be at the bottom. So right. if we do tier system for. Model count, base save, your model count, your base savings, then your maximum savings. So, at the bottom, it will be ogres. Makes sense for model count. For model count, because there's only 26. Followed by right. EOD. Yep. For 30. Obviously, if there's a few of them that have the same... Um, Lettering will put alphabetically. Then it's halflings. Because they also I know halflings need to go EOD is before H E is before H. Uh, so because halflings and EOD have the same count. And yep. then obviously from there we go straight to goblins. Because they have a nice little total of 41. Um, and then from... Oh no, it's Forces of the Abyss, then Goblins. So I'm just going to pop this here. Abyss. 
followed by goblins, followed by Swedo was one I had more. One, two, three, four, five. I've missed one. <laughs> oh, Ratkin. They're 41. So, so, weirdly enough, the best value for model count is actually Ratkin. No, Goblins. No, nope, Ratkin. Oh. Ignore me, it is Ratkin. At least no. they're useful. No, it's Goblins. So, I was right, it is Goblins. They had a max. So, from the top, we have goblins, followed by rats, uh, so a ratkin, followed by abyss, followed by EOD, followed by halflings, followed by ogres. So, this is our model count. Uh, model count this is our tier system for the model counts um so seeing that now um the values of it all what is now your opinion on it all like looking at it now uh seeing halflings that low so it's still sad um and i just know that they're gonna get lower and lower at this rate yep but <laughs> but at this rate I do like the idea of goblins. You can get the most out of that. That is really good. Like, and funnily enough, it was the only one that I initially looked at and went, yeah, I could get into goblins. So, so obviously this is just with the model count in the box of out the extra stuff. Oh yeah. Um, like again, I said to myself out of all of them, other than my little nitpick of it doesn't show the back of the box. I would willingly pick that up. Like we won't in uh, what I'll do. We'll also do characters. We'll do a character tier as well. What ones make the more most characters essentially as well, so we can get uh, get next one. So obviously for your base savings, unfortunately it is halflings at the very bottom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it is then yeah. followed by ogres. Well, yeah, e that makes sense. EOD. So Empire of Dust people, uh, followed by Abyss, followed by Ratkin, followed by Goblins. No so if you actually look at it, the only difference for the base savings is literally Ogres and Halflings are swapped. <laughs> yeah, that is the trouble. only difference. Yeah, more salt to a wound, thanks. <laughs> um, so obviously now we've got to look at the lower count, the, like your maximum savings for everything. So halflings were that. Okay, so... I swear there was one we done that had extras. Okay, so the lowest this time for your maximum budget is Ratkin. Have the lowest amount. And then it is followed by... I'm pretty sure it's that one. Followed by Halflings. Oh. So they are still bottom. This is obviously with all the extra units we've gone over people as well um, because I wanted to try and see what we could create and go from there. Followed by... It, look, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that one next. Yep, so followed by... Uh, so, not halflings. Um, that's 108. Do you think that's anywhere near that? No. Followed by the Abyss. So Abyss have been knocked out of the top three for maximum savings. I'm not surprised, uh, personally, because of the lack of stuff you can make with them. Uh, so, it's more of the full point of if you really want to make the things hmm. that come with it, you're going to have to put down 
so much more effort than yeah. some of the other ones. So not as much as goblins because the amount of shin numbers there are. Yeah, the, but... the amount of shenanigans you can make with that is actually mind blowing. Um, obviously, weirdly enough, EOD knocked Abyss out of the top three for maximum potentials you could Good. potentially make. Um, then obviously, obviously as well, people, these are all to do with um, PMCs. We've done the maximums. Followed by, strangely enough, ogres. That's Follow, a followed by goblins. <laughs> Like, actually, to be honest, it's not much of a shocker since um, the ogres do contain partly goblins. And yeah. since goblins are right at the top, it's kind of a no-brainer there. Yeah. <laughs> so, if we're looking at everything, you can... So, halflings for characters you can make from the set in order. So, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, you can make nine from halflings. Um, you can make nine from abyss. Um, I think halflings are at the bottom of this one. Yep, it wouldn't surprise me anymore. So like it comes to a point where I I I'm not expecting halflings to be. I'm expecting them to be last at this point. They're not. Wow, really? They're actually not. That's quite surprising. So at the bottom of the table, we actually, weirdly enough, have Ratkin. Which is a surprise. You can only make six heroes with the extra whack. Yeah. But, mm, yeah. Followed by... So we have a... So what one was that one? That was Ogres, and that is, yeah it is. Followed by Ogres. Okay. With six, uh, with seven. Followed by EOD, seven. So I'm just gonna tick the ones I've done to make it easier on me. Uh, Expecting Halflings next, because I know that you can make one of each hero plus two mounted. So that's seven, eight, nine? Oh, sorry, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight. So, it is Halflings with nine that next. Oh, yeah, nine. Oh, yeah, nine. Bloody hell, brain. But only because of the alphabetical order. <laughs> Yay! Forces oh, of the Abyss make nine as well. That's not um, bad. So it's not bad. They are technically joint. Joint second. Now here's the big one. One, two, three, four, five, well, six, it's seven, goblins, eight, nine, ten, of course. Eight, nine, nine, you can actually make 13 different characters with the goblin box with that extra work. Jesus Christ. Christ. So like, that's with the actual like you are making all the efforts, no stops. So we're gonna do a final tier, tier system, and this will be combining all of it together for going. So basically, whoever's done at the top most stays at top, and no surprise, and it's goblins. <laughs> yeah, they they've really just been pulling um, out all the stops. Yeah, so Ratkin. Right, who's going to be at the bottom? This is interesting. So, ogres aren't at bottom. That's really surprising. Who's had the most top twos? Weirdly enough, this is quite interesting. Like, with everything into account, goblins have the best stats. Oh yeah, goblins uh, like, every step of the way. You can get the most value out of it. Yeah, it it, it it's the MVP of this whole yeah. thing. Yeah, and then the second MVP will be Ratkin because they've come top uh, uh, second in two of their categories. Um, 
Um, no, at best beat Ratkin because they've got come top. They come in second in two of three of them. So Ratkin get knocked to tear three. EOD are actually nice and stable next. So they have one higher. Oh, this is interesting. I'm just waiting for Halflings in dead last. <laughs> no. What have I missed? I'll try this out. So I haven't added Ogres. I haven't added Halflings. Yes, yeah, it's just Ogres and Halflings. I've just put one up. Um, weirdly enough. Um, yeah. Ogres beat Halflings because yep, so. they've in the first category they came last. Second category, so Halflings beat Ogres in first cap. Ogres beat Halflings in second cap. Ogres beat um, Halflings in third, but um, Halflings beat Ogres in fourth. But because Ogres have second in the third category they actually come out in a better situation than the halflings yeah i expected halflings to be the worst um hit. i even admitted it yeah I mean, it's oh, it's a shame it is a shame because there is there is something they could have they could have done a bit with that box um so obviously these are just these are just opinions people obviously if you want to put the maximum effort in you can get potentially units out of the boxes. You can get characters. If you're willing to blue stuff, you can make the extra parts to get the extra bits for goblins. I know I will be doing that um, because I will be showing everyone the maximum potential you can get out of each of these boxes. It'll be um, for a while, but... be a couple, about a month's worth of work, probably. I think the easiest ones, um, in all fairness, are going to be the Abyss. Um, Abyss will be the easiest because it's just simple bits of green stuff. That on. and I will bring over some um, Tyranid wings yeah. just so you can actually have the wings. Yeah, and I literally only need it for five of the characters. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, but yeah, so obviously Goblins MVP because one, the savings are ridiculous with what you can do. Obviously, we're going out based on they send the full kit and not just the mincer. I would have thought they sent the full kit. But if not, they still, even if they don't, they still come top, stupidly enough. Because it's yeah. just, a, it's <laughs> literally just five characters, like five or six characters. But they still have probably one of the best savings, second best savings. Oh yeah, it's so, just going to be interesting on if they do send all of the whole box or just just those models. Yeah, and I think that's something that we'll have to see, um, obviously. So, but yeah, so that is opinions on ambush. So now after seeing all of the, we broke it all down, gone through values. Um, with obviously maximum budget sort of thing, savings, like how much is, um, how much costs retail. So if you were to type everything in, um, like what would be sort of, like if we ignore the tear system, uh, tear system, or if you want to take that into account, what would be your personal top three that you would invest in, even with everything we've gone over with Gob um, goblins goblins immediately i i okay. said from the beginning i liked the look at the um blenders on wheels i really do like that okay so goblins would be your number one number one okay, yes what would what be your number two by if you had to pick three uh well i can tell you my third one would be halflings no matter what because yeah. i kind of would need to increase in my halfling army Okay, so, um, so that just leaves your forces of best, EOD, ogres, and Ratkin. Probably the rats. I I I I have stated before that I do like Ratkin. Mm -hmm. I do like Skaven in um Age of Sigmar, 
preferably mm. old world, but yeah. it would be the rats. Yeah, uh, mine's very similar to yours. Um, I would obviously goblins, thirty five quid. If they send the extra chariots, you get a potential two extra units. Technically, only ones on the field because you're magnetized and everything. Um, that's why we've included like the extra boxes because you're still getting that value. Because um, the mag, that's one thing. I think people don't realize is magnetizing when you buy like a any type of box similar to there's multiple options you're basically saving money no matter what because you're buying the extra um they're buying the magnets to make them all so goblins would be my number one i would actually go eod so empires of dust and then i would go ratkin I yeah would go but that then one. again i was going out of my personal opinion of mm. i would need more halflings yeah so for me the only reason I went the way there is obviously goblins. You get so there's just you can't complain at that value. Oh god! Um, no. If you're putting in the extra work, like for all the extra characters and stuff, you get the extra units. You're saving a potential two hundred eighty-seven pound fifty. And yes, obviously there is work you've got to do with them via green stuff, via blue stuff, but. I would, for that value, to get a bonus 13 characters and a potential two units. And you could go even further and make those, if they have the Morbis, make those Morbis units into full units. There is nothing stopping you doing that. That would boost your savings even more. So you could potentially um, run two units of either the ones with spears and shields or the two of bows. Or if you really wanted to, you could potentially just blue stuff the bodies, 30 bodies, 30 heads, and you have everything. And there's no need to magnetize. That is exactly. also a potential. Um, there's just some, But EOD is just interesting. Because obviously you know I've wanted to play EOD for a very long time. Um, oh, yeah. Because obviously Toon Kings. Um, and I do like the, the way they've done EOD now. They've really like, upped the game. But Ratkin as well, because Ratkin was... Ratkin and Gobbos were my first King's War armies. Oh, so. yeah. Like, like Again, my my army is halflings. I cannot say, even though it is pro it's turned out the worst here, that, again, even I... I would only ever buy it once to get the ruling, for the whole reason of I'd need the ruling. After that, I get the other box. Yeah, and I think that's when... That's the only disappointment part about it. There was already a box for it. All they had to do was add the rules to that box, and they made this. And that's the only disappointing part about it. They, they've, what, put minimum effort into that, that one box. Yeah, I think if you go also by creativity... Halflings still come out of the bottom because it's it's just a battle group. Yeah. It's literally a box they already have. It's just all they've done is add a bit of paperwork to it. Yeah. Um... But this is also comparing it to all of them, not saying that this is the best of the best or the worst of the worst. Yeah. I, I, again, I'd still buy it. It's just... Yeah. If, we, if you take everything into account, unfortunately, Halflings just don't match up to the other boxes. I get so I just want to also add as well obviously ambushes for people to start learning the game get into it we've just took it that next step further going okay as a beginner sort of thing if we take from a beginner perspective halflings will probably be the better box oh yeah because it's just a flat two different ones halflings and don't have a lot of rules cheap. yeah they cheap don't points. they don't have a lot of rules either let's be real um but at the same time it's like if you want to for veterans or people uh, not new new to and you want to put that extra work in obviously goblins come out on top unfortunately um as long as you do get the mints and chariots i can also find out um as well so um i so, can find out myself yeah, and we like can... the Here's the fun part. The easiest way to look at this is if you're a veteran to the hobby, you listen to the list. If you're a new guy who's doesn't know where to start, 
you do the exact opposite of the list. Yeah, essentially, yeah. If you're, <laughs> if you're just coming in and wanting to learn ambush, cool. Yes, fair enough, obviously. Go with what you think's cool. If you're a veteran and you want to try and make the most potential out of every box, whether it's making extra characters, extra units, um, with despite the goblins having a lot more stuff you can do, there's not a lot of work. <laughs> Because you don't have to recreate a chariot. You only have to recreate a few more beasts. That's it. There's no other green stuff you need to do. All the other ones have like fur. You might want to add on wings. There's just a lot more work with the other ones. Um, but obviously these are all just opinions. But yeah, go with what you think is cool obviously. And then obviously if... If you want to take that extra step further and go, okay, well, what can I do with these spare models? Do I just add them to the bases? Obviously, you can take the recommendations that we've given um, into account with making extra characters, extra units, um, making custom stuff. It's completely. I've even like I've even looked at all of my Imperial Guard um, extra pieces and gone right. I need to sit down, separate them, and find bits and pieces that would make actual models instead of wasting all these spare parts hmm. um, but that would take it a while and a 3d printer yeah um but yeah so obviously goblins mvp halfling sorry you're getting a wooden spoon, a wooden um, spoon. god damn it and like mid-tier it's, it's just been bouncing between Ratkin and EOD for mid tier between those. So they're like a good lot, sort of like mid range, like your top rangers. You're looking at goblins, abysses, lower rangers, ogres, halflings, mid tier, Rat, Ratkin, AD. This is without taking, I would like to add rules and stuff like that. With This is just from a box value, what you can build, what you can make, what you can use the spare parts for. There's no rules that have been put into this. Obviously, when the boxes come in, we will play it with how they are in the boxes without the upgrades. And then what we will then do is play a game with the upgrades and we will see, obviously, what happens. Because potentially, Goblins might, yes, yes, they are the MVP. They could potentially lose in a box v box or a upgraded box v upgraded box. Less um, likely due to the amount of heroes they get, but yeah, yeah they get a lot. <laughs> they get an awful lot. Um, but obviously, yeah. So obviously, I, um, if you have stuck through to the end of this one, it is really appreciated because it is nearly a f two. It's over two and a half hours long. <laughs> you promised me only an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so. But yeah, so obviously um, it's a bit of a long one because obviously we broke it down a hell of a lot. There was a lot to talk about and a bit of umming and ahhing and finding some extra things that we weren't expecting to have to go find. Yeah, it's like, I wasn't expecting to go, oh, how can we max? I was like, okay, let's see what we can maximize. I was like, oh, damn, we can, we can do a lot with these boxes if they have these specific parts in. Um, obviously, I can find out information, and I will put it in the description to do with the Mincer and with the Mincer uh, troop that's in the ambush box. I will find out if it is the Chariot Mixer Mincer Chariot kit. Obviously, I will put that down in the description just in case. Um, but obviously, everything else will be down there as well. So obviously, that would be that the ambush. Uh, that's the full ambush review going over. Obviously, values uh, from base box savings, miniature counts, creating a tier system. Obviously, these are all just opinions. So obviously, take it with a grain of salt, pinch of salt, whatever you want to do. If you want to follow what we've recommended, go ahead. Um, obviously, let thoughts know and what you think. Uh, if you have like a after hearing all this, what are your top uh, top three that you are looking at or you feel is a nice introduction uh, to Ambush. But that will be this one. Obviously, we have a few more stuff coming up. Um, after this one, we will be going over all the different fractions. So you will have a huge in-depth of an entire range um, of all the different fractions. We will also be going over what is the best starter set uh, for a two-player set, what is the better starter army set, and what is the starter mega set 
as Fingers. well. Fingers crossed I don't have to do this all in one sitting. <laughs> uh, no, we will not be doing it because the mega sets, the fraction stuff, the, each video, I will pre-warn people, when we go over to fractions, excluding megas and starters and two-player starter sets, we are probably going to be looking at maybe an hour to two hour videos. Um, Same with the full ranges, depending yeah. on what armies there are. It's going to be interesting, it's going to be fun. We'll just see where it ends yeah. up. Um, so, but yeah. Obviously, as an example, now it's just being an ass. That's fine. I'll leave it like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously, there's more to come. We'll be done. So coming up next, um, and hopefully the next couple of weeks, over the course of the month, we'll have every fraction having their own video on personal opinions, on what we like about models, dislike about the models. Uh, we'll be doing a tear system. Um, going through PMC again, um, obviously there will be live battle reports coming, um, where we have a few armies going head to head. Um, obviously first armies will be halflings versus either the Berger or the Northern Alliance, depending on what I feel like playing. Um, because obviously Regret will be playing halflings, uh, as their main army. Um, but yeah, obviously we will be going over to Twitch as well on monday come check it out um, but if you have stayed really appreciate it. let us know your top uh, your top three on stuff or if you've spotted something we haven't spotted working everything out and tier, tier list and working out savings and stuff or if you have any ideas of other things you can make with the stuff that's left over drop it in the description and we will see you on another episode of ohana hobby workshop all links to the magnet shop that i personally use and also discord and everything will all be down in the description so we'll in, see you all on another one. In all honesty, I am wondering what our team thinks of and how um, how much they can get out of it. <laughs> it will be very interesting. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, have a good night or good morning, wherever you are, and we'll see you on the next episode. Um, everything's down in the description as normal. Bye-bye! <laughs>